Hi YouTube friends, I'm Heidi Villegas with Healing Harvest Homestead and today uh, I'm going to be making some vanilla extract from scratch with vanilla beans. And I do this every single year. Uh, I make a, a nice big batch. This year I'm actually going to make two quarts of it. And one of the reasons why I like to start so early, this is the end of August right now, is because I want it to be ready and I want it to have a, several months of infusion time before the holidays. Homemade vanilla extract makes a wonderful gift. Uh, you can find really cute little bottles like this one with a cork and you can label them and, um, and make them really sweet. But people love getting homemade made vanilla extract and it's very strong, it's very fresh, and it's just delicious. So what I've got here is 25 uh, vanilla beans and I know that the quality is good because they are kind of juicy. <laughs> so you don't want dried up vanilla beans, you need to find a good quality. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice them down the middle like this. And then what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to cut them into about one inch to two inch um, little strips and place them in my quart jar. And while I do this, I'm just gonna share with you uh, a story and a little bit of history about the vanilla bean. So a vanilla originated, um, it actually grows in different places in the world, but originally they think it's from Mexico and it comes from the Teutonic Indians from thousands of years ago. And then right around the 15th century, the Aztecs uh, came in and um, decided that vanilla was the elixir of the gods. <laughs> and they, they turned vanilla into something very special. And there's a very old Teutonic uh, legend that says that once upon a time, um, an immortal princess, and an immortal man fell in love and they got together. And the people were not happy because that was an illicit and forbidden romance. So the two of them were both beheaded. Where the drops of the blood fell on the ground is supposed to be where the first vanilla plant emerged. <laughs> so it's a little macabre, I know, but um, I thought it was kind of a neat story too. So anyhow, um, wanted to just share that with you. While I'm cutting up the rest of these vanilla beans, um, I just wanna uh, mention that vanilla is uh, just such a beautiful, beautiful spice to use. It's wonderful to put into your herbal infusions and your teas. It's, it's just, it's delicious. And um, it's well worth it if you can find your own um, juicy source of berries. I did just get these off of Amazon. Um, I'd like to look at the reviews and then check out the company that I'm buying them from, but this is just an Amazon product. And if you want, I can put the link in the description below. In fact, while we're talking about um, the description below, I just wanna mention that you can get my free herbal remedy guide plus a cheat sheet. It's perfect for your home apothecary or your kitchen. Um, all you have to do is um, sign up to get it <laughs> and I'll put a link below. And then another thing is, is if you are interested in starting to learn how to use herbs for your health and wellness and also for your home and your body, um, I have a free five day e um, email foundations course for herbalism that you can take and I'll put that link below too. And in the meantime, I do hope that you will subscribe to uh, my channel <laughs> because it's more fun when you're here. All right, this is 80 proof alcohol. And I like to use 80 proof because uh, number one, it works just fine. And number two, uh, it's kind of easier on the palate, I think, than when you start getting into the higher proof alcohols. The higher proof alcohols can burn. Um, so this is going to be primarily for cooking um, and giving as gifts. So I'm gonna keep my proof fairly low here. And there we are. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a warm spot to macerate. 
uh, until let's see, September, October, November. It's going to macerate about three and a half months. And at the end of that three and a half months, I'm going to have a very strong product. It's clear right now, but pretty soon it's going to be a beautiful, a dark, dark brown and perfect for gift giving and cooking. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to make uh, vanilla extract from scratch at home. All right. I will talk with you later. I'm Heidi with Healing Harvest Homestead. Please subscribe.